And uh, let's take a look at our next operator vigil that is coming with uh, Operation White Nose. Really, what a cool CGI trailer yeah. for Vigil. That's one of the coolest ones uh, I've ever seen. Yeah, it's really yeah. badass. And uh, one of our lead, uh, lead writers, Lucien Subban, described uh, Vigil for me, and, and I wrote it down real quick because his backstory is really interesting. Uh, so Vigil is an orphan tortured by his experiences. He turned his pain into path of discipline, but because of the hardships he's faced, he's most comfortable behind his mask. Uh, he prefers to be invisible, and that's exactly what his abilities show him to do. So, obviously, there is some kind of cloaking ability that he has. Why don't we break down his gadget, Simon? What, is, what, are, what are the game design intentions behind Vigil? So, with Vigil, we wanted to do... Uh, we wanted to have a roamer that is extremely strong. Like, he, is, uh, he comes equipped with the electronic rendering cloak, and that renders him invisible to drones. Um, Obviously, for a, a roamer, a lurker, this is a very strong ability because the drones are the number one enemy of the roamers and lurkers. That's yeah. how they get the Absolutely. found out. It's a, it's a really interesting ability, and let's see it in action from Vigil's perspective. And why don't you break it down for us? So we will see Vigil act just activating his, uh, his cloaking ability, and then you will see the drone coming in, and he has a white light because the computer in Vigil's back is actively hacking the drone's feed to remove his, him, his image from it. And there you can see a little bit of a HUD indication that you are invisible and you are cloaked to exactly. that drone. Uh, additionally, it, it works, uh, I noticed a, a timer bar for the ability icon. How does that work? Yeah, it works on the cooldown similar to Caveras, so uh, he can use it, stay in it, he can move around, and... Um, and then that's it. When it runs out, it has to refill up until he can use it again. Now, let's take a look at what that looks like from the attacker's perspective while in the drone view. So the drone is just rolling in, and Vigil just vanishes from the vision <laughs> of the drone. As, as we hear the crowd just go react to that, and they just cheered, and, and we're just like blown away by it that. It just looks so cool. great. Yeah, it looks really cool. I love the sort of cloaking effect. Yeah. A visual that looks uh, that's, that's great, and additionally, we saw the same UI HUD that uh, that is present there. So, what happens when uh, a drone comes close to Vigil while he's already cloaked? So, while you're in a drone, you will get close to Vigil, and you will get that that HUD increase. But even if you get close to him, to him, the the HUD will not grow any stronger. So, the design intention behind that is that when Vigil is invisible you will know that he's in the room, but you cannot tell where he is. You cannot pinpoint his position. Really amazing stuff. And obviously, uh, what, what's that range that, uh, that, that they can detect him at? The range is about uh, 12 meters, so the, the HUD vignette will uh, increase from 12 to 8 meters, but after, uh, from 8 meters to Vigil, you, you cannot pinpoint him. The, so if he's in a small get, room you, and you, yeah. you throw your drone in there, you dr drive your drone in there, you'll be able to see Vigil or, or actually know that he's in that room, but you won't actually be able to see him. You won't know exactly where he is, but you will get that HUD feedback uh, on him. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. So let's take a look at his loadout and break down some of those details. So, of course, he's a roamer, so he needs to be three-speed, one-armor. <laughs> he's a very aggressive defender. He's a lot of fun to play with. And he has a pretty cool uh, selection of weapons, too. Yeah, let's take a look at his primary and secondary weapons. So he comes equipped with the K1A1, which is a, a submachine gun, 30 mags. And he comes equipped with two machines pistol at, as secondaries. Uh, but the real special weapon here is the shotgun, the Boss G22. It's really a unique shotgun. We've never did anything like it in the game. And so the way it works is that it's a, it's a shotgun that has two pellets. And it, it doesn't fire 
um, when you fire it, it doesn't fire two pe uh, eight pellets. It fires just only a single buckshot. And so... So how, do, how does that work? It's, it's obviously really powerful. And exactly. It, it's, it's just, but it's going to be a bit of a high risk, high reward. Exactly. You only get two shots with him. That's it. But it's a very high damage weapon. So you'll have to be very confident in your shots. Because if you miss them, it's bye bye. I can only see now uh, a cloaked vigil just uh, you know, walking around a corner, entirely un un unex uh, you know, an unexpected person on their drone, just droning out of room, and he just comes around a corner with that slug shotgun. He's it's gonna terrifying. Be <laughs> that, yeah. that is really scary. So obviously a lot of uh, utility, a lot of situational uh, uh, advantages for Vigil. And, uh, but let's take a look at some of his counter picks as well. So who, who would you say is a good counter pick? His against? nemesis is obviously IQ because when, whenever he has his uh, electronic rendering cloak active, IQ will track him in real time as he moves around. And so he cannot hide from IQ unless he turns it off. That, that is amazing. That is really cool. His, so his counter picks become really important and, uh, Absolutely. and, and IQ is really his nemesis against him. Yeah. Really cool. Great. Uh, so let's take a look at some of his uh, gameplay footage here with uh, looking at visual. Well, and actually, oh, right, Justin, actually. <laughs> there is two more, uh, little, uh, right. more softer counters to, uh, to Vigil, yep. which is uh, Thatcher and Twitch. Thatcher, uh, if he gets caught in the radius, uh, it will temporarily disable his electronic uh, rendering uh, cloak. And for Twitch, if if by chance you arrive and you manage to pinpoint him and shoot him, it will disable his cloaking with the Twitch drone. So Twitch's drone will be able to disable Vigil's cloaking. Exactly. Ability. So, But she won't be able to see him, right? No, but she won't she'll... be able to see him from the drone. Only if she gets the, a, a shot where if she knows where he is. So she'll just get the HUD uh, indi indication, and then if she just happens to hit him, he'll, uh, he'll break Exactly. Cloaking. That's really cool. All right, so now let's yeah. take a look at the gameplay footage of Vigil in action and, uh, and tell us a little bit about how you foresee Pro League actually integrating uh, a character like Vigil. Oh, man, he's going to be one of the more interesting characters we're going to see in Pro League. I think he's a huge meta changer because we know how, how corner, Cornerstone um, droning is to, a, to an, atta an attack. So. It's huge. It's, we, we, we've been seeing it all weekend. Droning is just, they're in and out of their drones nonstop. Exactly, and you see how fast they pre-fire angles when they, they spot a defender, but you won't be able to tell where he is. So by entering, you, you won't be able to pre-fire him because you can't tell where he is. So I think it's going to be actually a huge game changer. I feel like he's going to have a lot of harassment ability where he is just hiding out in a room and, a, and a, an attacker throws their drone in and just gets that HUD notification and they just freak out. They're just like, all right, he's in there somewhere. Exactly. I don't know where, but uh, he's in there somewhere. Exactly, and, and that's what he brings to his team, basically. It's making the attackers lose time. And so they're going to have to figure out where he is. They're going to have to get in and try to, to, to kill him. but. He's just going to make the attacker lose a bunch of time, and, and that's what he brings. And I, I, I feel like he's an interesting parallel to Kavera, uh, because he, he does have a similar ability where it's, uh, where it's a time-based ability like Kavera. It runs out of time eventually. Exactly, uh, it's, it's, and, and that's what uh, he brings to, to the team. It's kills and, and losing time. Yeah. Do, we, do you think we're going to see another Kavera with him? Ah, oh, I don't know. I think I think Chavera plus Vigil might be a little overkill. I don't know, but it, I mean, I would be terrified playing against that. Yeah, I'd be a little afraid as well. Yeah, <laughs> obviously a really interesting operator with Vigil. And now let's take a look at our remain our third and remaining operator, Dokebi.